Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Daryl Wilson, and today in this video, we'll be talking about some of the best multi-vendor e-commerce themes for WordPress. Now, last week, I had a multi-vendor e-commerce tutorial, and a lot of users were asking me about what kind of theme they should use for their multi-vendor store. And to be quite honest, a lot of the themes don't play that big of a role when building a multi-vendor store, but there are some that are helpful. So today in this video, I'll give you guys a list of seven themes that you guys can use. Three of them are free and four of these are pro themes. I did purchase all of these themes and I tested them out for about a week. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my results of themes that I think are actually worth your time. First up, Astra. The Astra theme is probably the best multi-purpose theme for WordPress. The Astra theme allows you to display any number of products per row and add as many rows as you want. You can display or hide the product structure like the title, the ratings, the price, or add to carts, and you can also move them around. The Decon plugin also integrates well with Astra as you can design and customize the store page in the theme customizer. You can also adjust the page layouts and the header area. You can also hide or display the vendor information on the page. It's a pretty standard overall multi-vendor theme, and there are some notable options in the pro version. Next up, Bloxy. The Bloxy theme probably offers the most WooCommerce features out of any free WordPress theme. The Bloxy theme allows you to design and change your products on the shop page with two different styles. You can adjust the columns, the rows, and the page elements. Bloxy also offers various page layouts for the single product page, where you can adjust the color, the positioning, and even the design of the product title. Overall, it's a pretty neat WordPress theme and I do like it. However, the demo importer does get stuck a few times and this was reported by various users. Bloxy also does have a built-in integration with Dokkan, so you should have no problem getting set up with your multi-vendor e-commerce website. Overall, Bloxy is a pretty solid pick for a multi-vendor e-commerce theme. Next up, Neve. The Neve theme is another all-around great WordPress theme for a multi-vendor store. The theme features are pretty much identical to Astra, where you can adjust the products per row and add as many products as you want. However, with the Neve, you can adjust the page layout for the shop page, product page, and the product archive pages independently, sort of like a theme builder. However, the real power lies in the pro version of this theme. The pro version gives you a lot of options like allowing you to adjust the product style, you can change the layouts, change the add to cart button, enable quick view, and also add a wish list. The single product page has tons of options like a gallery thumbnail slider, an image zoom effects, showing breadcrumbs, and much more. It also has a sticky add to cart button, which I do like. The Neve theme also integrates well with WCFM and Ocon as you can adjust the store list and change it to fit your style. It's another pretty standard WordPress theme for creating a multi-vendor store. I do have exclusive discounts for Astra, Bloxy, and Neve, and I'll leave these discounts in the description below of this video. Next, I'll be talking about pro themes only. These themes generally only come with a pro version. I went ahead and I purchased various WordPress themes and I narrowed my list down to a few themes that I think you're really gonna like. So here they are. First up, Mart Fury. Mart Fury is geared towards multi-vendor store specifically. The main feature I like about Mart Fury is that it displays the vendor's name on the products. One drawback with using Dokkan is the vendor's names do not display on products, so this theme makes up for it. It also comes with a become a vendor page which navigates users to sell on your websites. Mart Fury does come with various product page layouts and a single product page layout with tons of options. It also comes with six different product styles that look great. It also does offer some other features where you can adjust the text on the buttons and display some info on the products. Mart Fury does give you a little bit more options for your vendors pages like adjusting the vendor page and also gives some options for the general dashboard. To be completely honest, it's not a theme with the most features, but I like the style, the structure, and the vendor style it gives your multi-vendor store. It also comes with a really nice search bar at the top where you can search by categories, making it really easy for your visitors to search for products. Another notable feature is Mart Fury displays the products pretty well on mobile devices. Mart Fury has also passed a code quality standard, so it's not as buggy and glitchy as other themes that you might come across on ThemeForest. Next up, Meiosis. If you plan on selling digital products for your store, the Meiosis theme is a great overall theme for digital downloads. The theme works more with Easy Digital Downloads plugin and not WooCommerce. With Meiosis, you can customize and design the product page, the product archive page, and also the product vendor page. You can also adjust the product page, like moving the title to the left, to the right, and also changing the general position of the content. It's not the most customizable WordPress theme, but the layouts look great and it's really easy to work with. Another notable feature, if you plan on selling products with a purchase code, the EDD has a plugin that generates purchase codes for digital products. 
It's a great pick if you're trying to build a multi-vendor e-commerce store that focuses on digital downloads. I've always recommended the Easy Digital Downloads plugin because it's just really simple to use and it works really well with digital downloads. Next up, Rehub. Rehub has come a long way. About a year ago, this theme was full of bugs and issues, but they have definitely improved since then. I like the Rehub theme because it's simple and it also offers good features. It allows quick view, compare options, and also displays the vendor who is selling the products. They do have some notable demos where you can mix and match for your multi-vendor store, but they do have one exclusively for the Dokkan plugin. Even on the product page, it has some really nice layouts and it also displays the name of the vendor who is selling the products. The great thing about the Rehub theme is the diversity with different styles of products and reviews. You can also create a multi-vendor e-commerce website with comparison pages or review styles and just various different ways on how to present your multi-vendor store. I really do like that. It also comes with tons of elements for Elementor and WooCommerce modules that you can use to add a specific style to your multi-vendor store. Overall, you can get really creative with this theme and it just looks great. And lastly, Duca Market. The Duca Market is one of the newest themes for multi-vendor stores. The thing I like most about the Duca Market theme is the urgency style. With Duca Market, it shows how many products were sold and how many are left. It shows countdown timers and also really nice discount banners. It also comes with quick views, favorites, and also a compare page where visitors can compare products side by side. It also has a really nice style for the vendor page that looks really clean. The theme also displays the vendor's name, which is helpful if using the Dokkan plugin. Overall, I like the demos, I like the style, and it just looks really clean. It also has RTL support for languages that write from right to left. Now, I'll be very honest, the only drawback and why I was hesitant to put this theme on the list is because on the product page, it only has a few styles. It does have different layouts, but you can't really adjust the button size. But besides that, everything else about the theme looks great. Next, let's talk about honorable mentions. And I also do want to talk about themes that are pretty popular, but I felt like that was not impressed. First, let's talk about honorable mentions. The Woodmart theme is a theme with a really nice style that looks great, and it also works with Dokkan and WCFM. And I just like the overall style it brings to your store. I didn't mention this video in the past in my best WooCommerce themes, and I felt a little guilty because after I used it for quite often, I felt it really deserved a spot on my best WooCommerce list. If you're running a larger multi-vendor store, the Woodmart theme is definitely worth taking a look at. Now there's also a few themes that I tried, but they just didn't work well for me. The first theme was Electro. I tried to use this theme. I purchased it, I spent a few hours going through it, but as I used it, I found more and more bugs and glitches. For this reason, I wouldn't recommend the Electro theme. The same thing with the Marquito theme. In fact, on the demo page, you can see the demo is not even working properly, so I'm not sure where all these positive reviews comes if the, even the demo is full of bugs and glitches. I have purchased everything in this video myself and tried it, and I just didn't feel confident recommending some of these themes. The main reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of viewers ask me about my opinion on popular themes from ThemeForest, like Electro and Marquito. But to be quite honest, I'm not really sure where all these positive reviews come because most of my users in my community agree that many of these themes come with a lot of bugs and glitches. And lastly, the Flatsum theme. Now, I do like the Flatsum theme and I do recommend it for building e-commerce websites. However, when building a multi-vendor store with Dokkan, many users have reported bug issues and theme compatibility problems with Dokkan. I'm not saying it doesn't work with the Dokkan plugin, but down the road, when you combine different plugins with Flatsum and Dokkan, you might have problems down the road. I would just avoid it if you can. Well, party people, that is my list of the best multi-vendor themes. Now, when you're looking for a theme for a multi-vendor store, I think the main concern should be, is this theme compatible with the plugin? Because the last thing you want is to start making money, have people sign up on your website, and then you start seeing glitches and bugs and you're like, oh my gosh, why not just pick a stable theme? So always do research when building a multi-vendor store. And also let me know if you guys have any experience with these themes or any of the themes on theme force. I'm always interested to hear what people have to say. So my name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video guys. Take care.